Chan for The Voice newspaper. I'm going to be speaking to the traffic droid, a man called Lewis. Can't wait to meet him and let's see how he monitors the streets on his own with his little video camera. Hi, uh, Lewis. How you doing, my man? Very good. Nice to meet you. So, Lewis, tell yes. me about you. You're kitted out really well for cycling in London. It looks like you're unbreakable. Tell me, what is it like cycling through London, commuting daily? I tell you what, cycling in London is almost like playing dodgems or computer games. Yeah. Uh, you need to be alert. You need to be road savvy. You need to know what's going on. You need to interpret the road, you need to interpret the anticipations by other drivers. Anything can happen any moment. You know, apart from uh, drivers and, and cyclists, there are also pedestrians as well. So, say there's someone who hasn't really cycled before. They know how to cycle, but they're thinking about making a daily commute to work. Yeah. What would be your advice to someone starting out, a novice cyclist coming to London to cycle? It, it is very advisable to find a very quiet route, even though it may be longer to get to your workplace. Spend a weekend, maybe a Saturday or Sunday, a quiet time, proving your routes, uh, to learn your routes, and then once you've learned your routes, you become confident that you can actually play your routes out. Yeah. And then initially, you have to get confident with dealing with cars. And if you get spooked, then you need to gradually break into it. But start in the quiet area. And why did you take up cycling? Was it from a young age? Or? It was to save a lot of money uh, initially because I moved up to Dunstable. And uh, I didn't have a car, so I had to find a way of getting to the station. Now, it cost about 50 pounds a week uh, using the taxis. Actually, it was 100 pounds a week, 400 pounds a month, 4,800 pounds a year. So I said, hey, I might as well start cycling, you know. But I tell you, the first time I went on the road with my school, I was scared. I just had to use the paper. How old are you then? How old am I now? 48 years younger. <laughs> So how long ago was it you started commuting with your bicycle? Roughly about four to five years ago. Four years ago, actually. Now tell me, why did you become the traffic driver? What happened to you? Tell me about your experience. Well, I tell you what. Um, three years ago, the next day after I met my hot date, and I was going to uh, the shops to buy wine and everything. I think I remember it was during one of these X Factor programs. Okay. I think it was about 8 p.m. It was wet, rainy, I have lights, but not as much as this. And uh, it was a T-junction problem. I was going downhill, a driver was coming up, contra flow. Yeah. Then to my left was a, a, a turning. So I was on the inside of the turning. The driver, without warning, no indicator lights, no horns, nothing. Just suddenly turned into me. Yeah. I hit that car, I went flying. Ten feet off the ground. I, I swear to God, I saw the light spinning, and I thought it was a helicopter. I, I felt like a helicopter, like a light door. I hit the ground, cracked two ribs, cuts on my back, and I thought, hey, I'm done. I'm, I'm finished. I thought I was going to die that night. Did, did the driver stop? He ran away. I heard. I heard. I didn't see him. I saw the car before the impact, yeah. and then I heard the car, the, the, the wind screeching, so he was running away. So he went into a dead end. And luckily for me, there was a little boy who saw the man hiding. Okay. And then the police, it wasn't long before they came, captured him. So he was uh, brought to justice? He was brought to justice, right. yes. And how would you advise other people that have been knocked off their bicycles if they haven't got cameras? If you haven't got cameras, yeah. look around you. You might see CCTV around you. If there are people around, please call them, take their numbers, ask them to be witnesses to come forward. So, what are the reactions of people who do violate the highway code, like going through red lights or bad driving, when you give them one of your tickets? How do they react? Do some people get physically confrontational? Some get confrontational because they're different emotions. Some may have had a bad day at work, some are naturally very aggressive, and some don't like the idea of a cyclist telling them how to drive. So, for three years now you've been not proactively going out looking for troublemakers, but anyone that comes into your sphere that you see as a bad driver or cyclist or road user, you 
you, you take action against them and make them aware of their mistakes. Absolutely. So, so how long, how much longer do you think you will do this for the rest of your life as long as you cycle? Or? Uh, as long as there are bad people on the roads, threatening my life, other people's lives. I come from a background where we care for others and it's something I can't help. Do you have a guiding philosophy, maybe a, a religion or anything like that? that I am Christian, yeah. uh, but I don't follow it. Uh, religious thing. I go to church every day. Okay. I believe in God. I believe in people. Yep. I believe in animals. Okay. I believe in life yep. and helping others. I see. And do you have any further messages for the voice readers and viewers? Well, uh, cycling is a beautiful activity. And before cycling, I used to despise cyclists because they used to jump the lights. Yeah. Although I took up cycling out of necessity, my advice to anybody cycling in London is get road savvy. Read the highway code. Etiquette. Give way when you have to give way. Even if it's a big lorry or a taxi driver. Yeah. If he's ahead of you at a T-junction, roundabout, let him pass. But if you're ahead of him, you have the right of way. He has to give way. Yeah. So that was Barton of Bike Special with Lewis, the traffic droid. I'm tempted to call him the human droid, but no, he's the traffic droid. Thank you. A special guy doing some good work, and it's great to cycle, keep safe on the roads, well lit. We'll always wear a helmet, as Lewis and I both do. And I'll be seeing you next time for the next Barton of Bike Special.